Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today bringing you another Fallout 4 video. Now before you be sure to check out the link in the description to my previous video, that is a Fallout 4 news update on some more potentially leaked photos of Fallout 4 development alongside a video of the leaked Fallout 4 files and whatnot. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Anyways, I said yesterday in my last video that I had more stuff to discuss about these leaks, but it wasn't really news, it was just more so an update. So, um, one of the things that people have been using to go against these leaks, like everyone does, they don't just want to get excited and hop on the hype train, they just, they're afraid to get hurt, they don't want to get excited about a game, so, and they're going to regret it once it's finally announced, but anyways, um, they like to contrast it with anything in the world, and one of those things, reasonably so, is what Pete Hines has been saying on Twitter. So, this is going to be a brief vlog, just covering what he said, my thoughts on it, and I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below, so be sure to tell me what you think about what Pete Hines said. So, once again, we have... A big rumor going on for Fallout 4, potentially real, could be a giant hoax as well, but Bethesda refuses to give us a straight answer. What do I mean by that? Well, as you see on screen here, we have a screenshot of the tweet, and it says, At DC Deacon, Bethesda said they will eliminate false rumors after the Survivor 2299. Now screenshots of Fallout 4 development have came. Are they true? And he says, We debunked a site that made it look like it was registered by us. We do not comment on rumors and speculation. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, um, I love Pete Hines to death, don't get me wrong, people give him way too much shit, he does a good job, he answers basically any question that you ask him, and um, he's a very good PR, he's very bad at giving straight answers, I don't know if he was told to, not, to do that um, for the sake of the game or not, but I'm not sure, but anyways, I, I don't like how he's trying to credit the team for taking down the website, be, uh, the Survivor 2299, because they took a month to do that, and um, that was a very painful process. Anyways, moving on, uh, a fan of mine tweeted at him afterwards and said, come on Pete, you got fans falling for rumors again, all they want to know if it is real or not. And once again, a neutral lining answer, he says then you should ignore everything else unless it comes from an official source slash channel, as we've said previously. So once again, not giving a straight answer, just saying, no, it's fake, yeah, it's real. Obviously he's not going to say it's real, but he's not going to be like, no, it's fake, dude, don't worry about it. Why is he just... I, I don't get this. This is why I made a video about this months ago. How my issues with Bethesda handling rumors, and it seems they haven't seen that video, even though it got out to a lot of people, um, which is quite unfortunate that it didn't make its way to Bethesda because they're still doing their typical thing where they have this huge rumor going around. It's a potential hoax. I'm kind of believing in it. I'm in the neutral ground. I'm more leaning towards believing it. And um, once again. The fans have come at Pete Hines, come at Bethesda, just asking for an honest answer, and yet again, they're just staying in the middle. Now, honestly, yes, he is saying basically we should ignore it, but once again, it is a leak, a potential leak, it is a big hoax, I don't get it. It's like, obviously when he says you should just ignore it, that means us, that leads to us thinking, oh, it's probably real, because he's not denying it, and then when it turns out that it may be fake, People get pissed at me, people get pissed at him, people get pissed at Bethesda. It's not a good business strategy at all, and I'm not one to claim I know a lot about business, but it's just common sense, and um, I, I don't get it. I'm not saying he has to go ahead and announce the game for us, because if it is real, but it's like when he doesn't deny it, it makes us think it's real. It's this type of uh, psychological things, and it's, I, I don't know. It, it do, it's not smart what they're doing with this, how they're handling it once again, dangling the Fallout 4 carrots right in front of us once again, leading straight up to the biggest gaming convention of the year. Um, if they really don't want to make their fans hate them, they will answer this question honestly prior to the event, and um, if they don't plan on answering it, then damn it all, they better have a fucking announcement there. I swear, man. That's all I'm saying. Um, I don't think this video will make its way to Bethesda or anything, but um, if it is, I'm not going to choke hold an, an announcement out of them like a lot of people have been trying to do. I'm just saying, though, if you're not going to answer this question, announce the game, for God's sakes. It, it's getting ridiculous at this point. I'm not one to get angry at a game community or a, a developer or anything because I know they got a, a ton of things to worry about aside from a bunch of fans just asking questions, but just a simple yes or no is all we ask for. So... That's the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below on whether or not you think that he's giving us a straight answer or not. How do you think Bethesda should handle rumors? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, be sure to please follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, keep my discount codes in mind. We're almost to 1,000 followers on Twitter and 1,000 likes on Facebook, by the way. That is 
absolutely awesome. I have not seen that much growth on my social media in quite some time, and it's very exciting whenever I tweet out, I'm able to interact with you guys and stuff and ask you questions about videos and just discuss fall off with you guys. So if you have not followed or like me, just be sure to do that because it's actually really, really awesome. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.